And now on Art Street, we take a trip to Little Haiti, where world-renowned artist Edouard duval Carré paints and sculpts. My name is Edouard duval Carrier. I'm an artist. I was born in Port-au-Prince, Haiti. I've al I guess I've always liked art. Uh, my parents bought me a very, very nice, expensive book on art, and uh, I think that's what I like the best, is the books. <laughs> and I like the art, and since I couldn't have it, I decided to make it. <laughs> so my work uh, is... Uh, is inscribed, uh, I mean, in the contemporary, you know, like, point of view, but at the same time, uh, infused with um, uh, my Haitianity. When most people think of Haitian painting, they think of these bucolic little itty-bitty canvases where men and women are working happily in the fields. Edward is none of that. He combines African fables um, classical mythology, Haitian and world history uh, with contemporary events. More behind my art is, is this whole drama, you know, the, uh, that Haiti represents. And there's this thing that they say that the Haitians are carrying diseases and all sorts of things. So, I mean, what I've tried to do is like taking all the bacteria and what they are really like from the computer, downloaded them and used them to, to make collages. And if you know your, your, your medicine, you know exactly. I mean, I have anthrax, all sorts of things going on there. I've tried to make an, an allegory of what hate is really about, you know? A place that offers nice things, but at the same time, it's completely battered and misused and poor and destitute and crippled and it's a very, uh, I think, very accurate vision of what that place is all about. It's called Little Crippled Haiti. He saves bubbles and beads, things that most of us throw away. Because he's from a third world country, everything is saved and cataloged and reuse and recycle. He is the original recycler. It, I, use, I do it uh, in a sense like uh, uh, the concept of reuse. I mean, they do it very systematically there. Because, I mean, they, there's very few materials. So whatever they lands on the shores of Haiti is, is, is taken, reused, re, re, reassessed, and re, reconfigured, you know? And this is one thing that I try to do also. I think it's very important uh, in this town to get as much uh, of the talent seen by the Haitian community out to the public. It's a Janus head, if you know that. I mean, it's a double head. And I've called the Lady of Miami. So on one side is like the mother, the nurturing side of the city, which, you know, like is very accommodating to different cultures. But on the other side also is like the slut, which the city is very, you know, like it's the happy-go-lucky, you know, kind of Miami Beach kind of fun place to come, you know, like sex and sun and you know like another things you know what so that's those are the two aspects of the city that which are play, playing each other all the time i i had lofty ideas when i started such as i'm going to be the chronicler of, of, of the situation as it is per haiti i mean and, and as one continues in life one realizes that one lives and one lives through their, what they do and in my case it's art and and whatever I do, that's what it is. I've, I've, uh, uh, it has, I've calmed down and uh, toned down my, my, I mean, not that, I'm, uh, that I don't have any, uh, how would I say it, um, positions in life and stuff like that. But still, I mean, one thing that is certain is that every day I come and I work and I do my art, and that's what fulfills me. There is that interest with Haiti, and, but also there's my interest with, you know, like with the, 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 the métier. I mean, the, 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 the field of art. So, I mean, you know, like, there's always a balance. I mean, some people can see that. Others, you know, like, see permanently my, my interest with Haiti, which is, you know, like, I mean, I cannot, I cannot, yeah, I'm not going to deny it. 
But at the same time, there, if you look carefully, I mean, there's a lot more to, 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 to my work than just that. I mean, no matter how hard I try to change, you know, the how hard I say, oh, this is like completely new, I've never done this before. When I put it, you know, like I, we've done a book, I mean, everything in it looks like me. <laughs> you know, since day one till now, even though I, I've tried very, very hard, you know, like to, to make things look different or more contemporary or more this or more that, you know, it, it ends up, you know, having, you know, like this, um, a, in, as they say in French, fil conducteur, I mean, the, uh, uh, the thread, a common thread through the whole thing, which um, I guess is what my spirit must be all about. For me, you know, until I drop dead, you know, I'll keep on doing things. I mean, there's some artists that, f that have found some sort of uh, um, formula uh, and that they keep on repeating themselves. I mean, I don't think I have found it. and I'm still looking. Maybe I'm still looking for my formula. And I hope I never find it. <laughs> okay. The preceding program was a production of WLRN Public Television.